All right, I'm going to keep this video nice and short and sweet, man. I keep seeing people talk about the video game industry is crashing. The video game industry is crashing and all this. All right, so I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say the video game industry is not crashing. The video game industry is not crashing. The Western video game industry is crashing. The Western video game industry is furiously shitting the bed right now. The Western gaming industry is just going through just an incredible level of self-inflicted flops. An incredible level of trying to cater to an audience that isn't really there. So, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's really just a Western video game industry crash. And on top of that, I'm going to say that the modern video game industry, the game industry in the year 2024, or the 2020s decade, has just turned into 90s rap music. It's just some East versus West shit now. It's literally what it's boiled down to. Western developers, what do you get? You get a bunch of, like, ugly-ass characters in seemingly every game now. Like, even games where they will facial scan, you sometimes you'll see the actress they use for these games. And the actress is actually a really beautiful woman in real life. But then for some reason, when they face scan them into these games, they're always made uglier for some reason. Hmm, I wonder what this reason could be. For some reason, they're always made uglier. I'll get back to that. Now, on the flip side, you look at Eastern devs, even Kojima counts as an Eastern dev, and he'll take, like, Hollywood actresses, do facial motion capture with them, and Western devs use the excuse, oh, we just don't have the technology to convey them, then why do all the Eastern devs seem to, like, one-to-one -one convey exactly what the actress looks like? Leia Seydoux and, and, and all these different actresses in Death Stranding, the Korean actress who was in Stellar Blade, all these MMO games have, like, like these Korean MMO games have extremely realistic motion capture for the, the characters. A lot of these games coming from Japan, Black Myth Wukong had incredibly realistic motion capture for its females. And, and, and all the characters in general. Why is it the Eastern devs seem to be able to, like, perfectly capture someone's face in a game but for some reason, the Western developers can't. Well, I honestly, and I know this is going to sound weird, honestly think the main reason is they make the females look uglier so that transsexuals and ugly women at these companies can feel better about themselves. I'm 100% convinced this is what it is. Let me tell you, let, let me let you guys in on a little secret of the Western gaming industry. 95% of the time when a woman works at a Western game company, like 95, 98% of the time, when a woman works for a Western game company, they're either transsexual or they're really ugly. Or they're like ugly as sin. Like land whale, just like... You, I don't want to get into it, but most of these women, when you see the type of women who work for these gaming companies, they're either a tranny or just hideously ugly. Like, they almost may as well be a tranny at that point. You look at these a Asian companies, and a lot of these character designs, like e Eve from Stellar Blade, Bayonetta, like, Western journalists will be, oh, these characters are over-sexualized and they're unrealistic. Bro, these characters are made by Asian women. These characters are fucking made by Asian women, bro. Like, I don't know how, like... You, when you look at the Eastern game industry, a lot of the women who work in the game industry, either as programmers or character designers, artists, etc., a lot of them are good-looking women, man. A lot of them are. I don't know why that is. I don't know why, like, in the East there seems to be more like conventionally attractive women 
who are attracted to the game industry. I'm not sure what the difference, I'm not sure. It might be some kind of cultural difference of some kind, but it's a real thing, man. It's a real thing that's out there. And all I'm noticing is from the East, you have games like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Stellar Blade, like Black Myth Wukong, Genshin Impact, the, those whole Hoyoverse games. All these games are printing money. These games are succeeding. Capcom is arguably right now in the best state this company has ever been in its history. Capcom is probably making more money now than any other time in the company's history. And what are they doing? They're making games with attractive characters. And their games are succeeding. And they're not talking about laying people off. Nintendo is not laying people off. Nintendo, another company, even though they have this family-friendly reputation, they do go out of their way to make sure that their characters are attractive. They want people to look at the character and be like, yeah, this character, I would want to play as this character, or play in a game where this character is with you. Like, this is why there's so many cosplayers for Capcom and Nintendo games, because the characters good, are good looking. Spoiler alert, most cosplayers are females. I'm not sure if this is controversial, but like, it turns out in the world, the people who like to play dress up the most are females, more often than not. And guess what? They like to dress up as characters that people actually like to look at. Surprise, surprise. All these things tie in together. All these things lead to games succeeding or failing. So I just wanted to comment on this real quick. Make this video relatively short and sweet. There's no Western, or sorry, there's no game industry crash. There's only a Western game industry crash. And right now the game industry really feels like it's some 90s beef shit. Some East versus West shit. I honestly think that Western game developers, for the most part, the game series I've truly loved from the West are usually first-person shooter games. Western developers understand gunplay better than the Eastern devs do. The, the Eastern gamers are not super into the whole gun thing. Even in games that do have guns, like Metal Gear Solid, you are encouraged not to kill people. It, it, gun violence is something that in the East is not super big. Like, yeah, they do make some games with it, but not in the way that Western devs are like, every game is about shooting, almost. Or at least the games that are mostly successful are about shooting. Call of Duty, Halo, like Tom Clancy, that sort of thing. Ubisoft. That's a whole nother discussion, man. Anyways, that's enough for this video. I'm out.